on guys it's dg back with a super special video today wanted to give a review on these bad boys right here the nike pg6 in the what the colorway so let's get right into it so starting with the box the name of the shoe is formerly pg6 so they didn't add anything to the name but the official colorway is opti yellow metallic silver and i actually got a half size down in these the PG6, when I played in my other colorway, the black and gold ones, they just fit super long. Like the toe box is very roomy. It's one of the only shoes that I had to go a half size down in, but like these fit great in half size down. Like these fit like a regular Nike basketball shoe in a size 11 for me. So that's how the PG6s feel for me. I know this shoe has been out for a while, so I'm not gonna get do a performance review, but I did eventually return the black and golds so I could get these. Before I start off this video, just wanted to make that disclaimer. This shoe goes insane. So I went to the mall yesterday and I just happened to walk into the JD Sports and I saw these just sitting there. And not a lot of people, you know, are into hoop shoes like that. So I was just like, can I get a size 10 and a half and 11, try those on? And the 10 and a half fits so much better to me. So these were an automatic cop i'm gonna go over every kind of feature on the shoe give you guys a close look i don't know all of the colorway names specifically you guys have to check out my guy 13 flavors on ig probably for that but starting off with the right shoe aesthetically so we got this tie-dye pattern on the lateral side you got that silver backwards facing nike swoosh and then you got the PlayStation pattern right there for the Nike swoosh as well. You kind of have that orange for NASA that you see glimpses of. You have a silver toe box, which is also consistent with the left pair as well. And then on the inside, you have that blue Nike swoosh, you have that camo, you have that plaid print, and then you have the snake, you know, fish style upper material that is in white as well. On the back, you have this PG2 pattern that was also a tribute to the Mamba Mentality colorway. So this is also like the Prelude Kobe 6s, I believe, but PG had a colorway of the PG2s that paid homage to those Kobe 6s. And then you have splatter prints all throughout the React midsole. Outsole, you have the translucent pattern, but there's also the splatter print as well the tongue you have that pepper pattern that i believe was on the pg5s and on the inside you see the word paulette which is his mother have the same fish upper in white that you see on the inside of this but it is on the outside of the left shoe and then you have the same kind of prelude pattern that you saw on the pg2s and kobe 6s you have a different gradient nike swoosh that i believe was on the pg1s for you have the PlayStation PS5 pattern right there. On the inside, you have the orange with that pays tribute to the PG3 NASA. You have the blue Nike swoosh. You have the same silver toe box. You have yellow laces. You also have the same pepper pattern on the tongue. You have the, I believe this is the PG6 and the Natasha colorway that pays tribute to that. And then finally on the outsole, you have this pretty iridescent translucent pattern and then you have the orange as well which i believe pays tribute to the nasa colorways of the pg3 that's it for the aesthetics colorway goes crazy these are a must cop for me but moving on to the actual performance so the performance consists of this like suction cup pattern that reminds me of basically like a spacesuit or something like that but from using this traction in different colorway this traction works amazing the cushion is full length React and it feels really comfortable. I think in the back, it's most comfortable. In the forefoot, it is a little bit dead, but it is meant for responsiveness. This shoe in regular colorways retails for only 110, which is probably the best bang for your buck basketball shoe ever right now. But this special colorway is an NRG. It has NRG on the receipt, which means NRG, and that means it's supposed to be a limited colorway. So this retails for 120, 130 with tax, which is still super cheap relative to other basketball shoes. The fits is true to size, but I did go a half size down in these from my regular Nike basketball shoes. 
and these fit amazing. If you can, try it out in person, but there is a very roomy toe box and it doesn't really conform to your foot. It is super wide, it has a very nice roomy toe box. So if you have a super, super wide foot, then you can probably go true to size. But if you are a narrow footer, then I would try these on in store to see what size fits for you. Materials are nothing crazy. It has this mesh upper, but the materials are comfortable. Like all throughout the shoe, you feel the comfort, you feel the cushion. There's nothing to complain about, especially for the price. The weight of the shoe, this is a really light shoe. Like I'm actually surprised at how good of a performance shoe this is for the price. This is a shoe for all positions. A lot of players in the league wear the PG6 for good reason. So I can't say anything bad about the weight of the shoe. This has a super wide base. It is a super supportive shoe. The materials are no BS here. Like it's nothing too crazy. It's not made of this super weird fly knit. It is just like a regular basketball shoe upper. So you're not gonna have any issues with these in terms of support. And with the really good traction and cushion, I think this basketball shoe performance wise is one of the best, like I keep saying, in terms of the price that you're paying for. I like when Nike basketball actually puts effort into the colorways that we get as consumers. And this is no exception to that because these are just a crazy basketball shoe. The only gripe I have is that they used this like crazy silver toe on it, which I think looks good, but I think they could have changed it up. Like if it's really a what the colorway, why, like, why can't one be silver and one be another color or something like that, right? Like I don't like that about the shoe, but again, these are gonna just grow on me and I can't wait to hoop in these. These just go crazy, especially for the price of only 120 and then the regular PG6 being only 110. No official release date yet. There aren't even official images. So this leads me to believe this might be like a shock drop or something of that nature. But I know these will release on Nike.com. I just don't know when. But let me know what you guys think of the Nike PG6 and the What The Colorway. I can't wait to hoop in these. These are just insane, like I keep saying and everything about these shoes are just crazy. I hope that they bring more What The Colorways back, like put the What The Colorway on the LeBron 20 and those will go crazy. The What The KD15s, the What The Kyrie 8s, the What The PG6s like these, the What The GT Cuts, like just put What The on the map again. That would go crazy. And I just am super happy that we finally got a true What The Colorway. I think the last time that we got a true what the colorway was the Kyrie Kybrids in the SpongeBob colorway and then had all kind of the what the theme on that. So I'm really, really happy that we finally got a Nike basketball shoe in a true what the fashion. So let me know what you guys think of the what the Nike PG6. Leave a comment down below, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already for more basketball shoe content. Subscribe to me, follow me on all my socials at Hoops, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.